After months of searching, a St. Paul social services organization has secured a space for its homeless shelter. In May, we reported Luther Seminary was helping with the effort, but that fell through at the last minute. Now the shelter will be moved to Central Baptist Church at 420 North Roy Street. And Brittany Ehrman joins us live in St. Paul to tell us all about it. Brittany? Kevin, Central Baptist Church has helped with efforts like these in the past. They provided winter warming spaces for those in need. Now they're hoping to expand those efforts. The pastor telling me today they have the free space, so why not put it to good use? When I come to work, there are unhoused people on our property somewhere, and it, is, it breaks the heart to see that. Right in the heart of Central Baptist Church, Pastor Craig Dahl is filling it with hope. Certainly the unhoused population in our community is, uh, needs to be cared for. This St. Paul Church and nonprofit Model Cities are teaming up to provide a safe space shelter for the unhoused. We're really, really excited about it. I think it's because we share a common, a common vision. Right now, we are envisioning this is where our, our women's beds will be. The building has two floors of empty space that will be turned into a referral-based overnight shelter with no in-and-out privileges. 25 beds will be open for women to start out. They also deserve to be um, not in the streets or not you know, having to sleep outside um, and being in danger of criminal activity themselves. Back in May, the plan to move the shelter to a different St. Paul neighborhood came with pushback. Neighbors voiced concerns about the shelter possibly bringing crime to the area. Are there any safety protocols in place just in case something like that could happen? We're definitely making sure that we have those kinds of um, protocols in place. The nonprofit says security will be on the ground when the shelter opens and closes to keep everyone safe. To make this an, uh, an opportunity for, for safe space, overnight, warmth, safety, and I think providing hope. And the final services at the prior location will wrap up in November and move to the church. The nonprofit told us they don't have enough funds to operate both locations at the same time. And we do know there are plans in the works to add more beds to this location so that they can serve all genders in the unhoused population. Live in St. Paul, Brittany Ehrman, 5 Eyewitness News.